I'm going to do a different sort of unboxing today. Normally it's uh, shaving stuff. Uh, what else have I done? Pins. I don't have a cool intro for coffee. I got and got into this after I had all those intros made. Um, but um, you saw I, I posted one video uh, about coffee, maybe two, don't remember. Um, but um, <clears throat> asked for some new coffee stuff for Christmas. Um, uh, and got something pretty cool. So I'm going to do an unboxing of it just because it's so cool and I might be using it in some future videos. I'm late to the party on this. There's plenty of videos out here um, on this and obviously all, all coffee things. This is not a new product, but it's pretty sweet new to me. But I might be the only shaving video that's doing an unboxing of it. So that's going to be my, my jam when it comes to coffees. I'm not the expert... I'm not going to do everything to the nth degree, but it's like, you know, the common man he may wants to step up his coffee game a little bit. So that's what I'm encompassing. The, the shaving guy who maybe hasn't gotten into coffee and thought, well, that's what I want to get into. So I'm probably going to have a picture of this already on the thing and it's going to, it's going to be titled that, but this is it. It's by Fellow. Uh, it's the Ode. It's a new grinder. Um, or new, new for me, coffee grinder. Um, and what I've heard in a lot of the research I've done is one, the one biggest place you can make a change in your coffee game is the grinder, which I thought very interesting. Um, so anyway, let's get, let's get to the unbox. All right. This is the box that comes in. Looks like there's a sleeve here. It should slide out of this thing is heavy. I'll tell you that. Oof. There we go. So there's the actual box. That looks pretty sweet. Should just slide open. Fellow, they make uh, all sorts of different things. They make a pour over uh, drip contraption. They make containers to hold your beans. They make a few different kettles. not conspiracy it's just good coffee so see it's just one product so let's we, we'll take our time here we got we got plenty of time <laughs> check that out that's funny quick start and brewing guide and a huge thick safety maintenance thing you don't need that all right so in here we've got a big old Cardboard cover. And here we are. Comes with, uh, what about this, a brush. So you can take this out for uh, dusting the grinds off and stuff, labeled fellow. And here we are. Let's see if we can do it this way and pull this baby on. There we go. Can feel nice rubber feet already. Rubbing, rubbing on the table here. Ready? <laughs> oh baby. Look at that. That's sweet looking. So this is just the, the top here. It's got a brew grind, which I've heard is Maybe not totally accurate, a little bit approximate. Here's the grinding cup. Nicely packaged. If you've never seen this, like I said, coffee people, this is nothing new. But there's a magnet there or here, probably here. Check this out. You go to slide this in. Yes. You see that? Magnet. Sucks it right into place. That's pretty cool, huh? also has a lid for kind of funneling the, the grounds down in there, trying to keep it a little bit clean. And then inside here, you can see it's got a couple of fins for helping you pour your grounds into, into whatever you're doing. Uh, a couple other features you can see here. There's a knocker for knocking the, the grinds loose after you, you've done your coffee. And then, of course, the sexiest thing here is the... Uh, the big old adjustable knob. Are we getting, how easy, let's see, we're, we're behind the, 
the turn. There you go. Now you can see that thing. So, you can look up the price of this grinder. Uh, it's something that you might be interested in. It's not the cheapest one uh, by far. Also, by far, not the most expensive one. Um, but, as with the shaving hobby, for me, the one of the big interests in getting more into coffee, just the experience, not just having a better cup of coffee, right? You can get a great shave with a $10 razor, um, just the right blade, the right soap, and not need anything else, but you get all this stuff because of the experience you're having, right? So for me, that was part of this, about wanting this specific model. Um, if, if you want the super details on this, um, there are videos that show you how you can pull the front of this off and adjust the burrs. You can even get replacement burrs for this that'll let you grind uh, finer coffee almost down to um, espresso. This one, it goes, you can see it goes from, uh, where are we at, one, one to 11. Um, one of the, the words on the end, they're, they're, they're clickable, locks in place. So you have five, five and a third, two thirds, and then six, apparent, you know. Um, one of the comments on this is that it doesn't go fine enough. Like, uh, I guess there's some uh, pour overs that you really want really fine grounds, uh, but not yet at the espresso level. And people are saying that if, or if you're doing pour overs, your adjustments are kind of between two and four or one or three, but a very small adjustment adjustment range. And you're not using any of this side, which to me is, is fine. I'm not gonna get into um, little tiny adjustments. Um, from one uh, cup of cup of joe uh, to another. So anyway, there it is. Just thought I'd share this sexy beast with you. Um, like I said, it is. Listen to that. Look at that. That is heavy as heck. Um, big old strong motor in there. Like I said, you can you can buy new burrs that'll let it get finer. They're two hundred bucks though to swap those things out. So I don't think we'll even be interested in that. But anyway, I got another video planned. Uh, for tomorrow, not specifically about this, but this will make it a whole lot easier for me uh, in doing that video. So I want to get this open, uh, show it to you guys, and I'll see you on the forum.